Yeah, you know, it's, it's different for sure. Um, it, was, it was definitely a, a huge blow mentally at first, but I think what I focused on was the little things. You know, we had guys coming in I knew that could be great, and I wanted to help them just as much as I could. And I focused on that. I focused on waking up, knowing I could make other guys better. Because unfortunately, there's nothing I can change in my role, so I wanted to make other people better while I can. So it's been going well. Uh, coaching is different for sure, as I said, but it's the next best thing is being on the Can you kind of walk us through the timeline of the younger house? How did that happen? Yeah, so I think it was around Tuesday that week. I was having some blood in my spit, coughing up. I just kept working out. I figured I had some throat problems. Just kept going because I actually my pulse and my oxygen levels were perfect throughout the whole week. I was just coughing up blood. Uh, and then right around that Friday, I started getting pain in my shoulder, in my left lung area. Saturday, I woke up, couldn't stand up, couldn't breathe. I drove myself to the hospital. You know, nobody was home, so I just had that instinct, you know, like just go. And thankfully, that new one opened up right off of exit 112 over there by Lin uh, Tecumseh. Went up there. Thankfully, nobody was in there. They got me in, and praying it was just some shoulder pain, but. Uh, now that you've been here, within what's, what's 24 hours, I went from the weight room to the hospital bed. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, you know, at first I didn't want to believe it, honestly. It's like, no way. You know, I'm 23 now. It's, there's no possible way something like that can happen twice. Um, but honestly, I just kind of took it for what it was. You know, the doctor's doing their job, too. He's being as truthful as he can. And so when I heard the news, it definitely hurt. You know, I took took it right on the chin and just knew how to get better from it. I didn't want it to hold me down. I didn't want to become something I knew I wasn't not supposed to be. So I want to keep moving forward. Jacob, why did you decide to stay in Norman? Well, one is to finish my degree. I have my MBA at the end of the semester, and two is just to help out the people around me. Uh, I know being down and being sulky and sad that really doesn't help anybody. You know, I have my moment there in the hospital, but. You know, I can make an impact on these young guys and even the guys around me, like DT. You know, we, we have a great relationship, and I didn't want to lose that. Coach Bates as well, Coach B, they've been nothing but help. Uh, so, I mean, it's just the, the place around, you know, you always want to make it better, and that's what I want to do. It's kind of an idea of playing long term, and you think coaching is something you continue to do this year, and how about other things you want to do with your family? Yeah, um, nice honestly, not sure about the coaching. You know, I, I love what it does for me, I love what it does for the people around me, but I did get an education, I want to be able to use that um, in the business world or otherwise. So right now I'm kind of interviewing different aspects of my life while you know keeping this option open as well. Yeah, I think if we're gonna, they're going to surprise uh, surprise a lot of people. You know, they are younger. Unfortunately, I'm not there to help. But you have a great leader like DT, Devon Sears. He's been in the game for six years. G Baby's been around the the scheme for a while. Even you know, it's a little different now with Coach Ali, but you know, same concept. So the young guys are catching on quick, and I think they're going to surprise a lot of people with how they play. When you got the biggest fan or come to back, did you know that uh, because like, you were kind of out of retire? Yeah. Um, you know, at first the doctor, you know, kind of told me, and I was like, nah, like right, you're lying. And then it kind of was a obvious kind of hit when I when I got the message. It was like, mentally I was like, you're done. I was holding on to it a little bit. The doc said, you know, you got, I have to stay on the medicine the rest of my life. So if that's the case, I can't play. So. Once you told me that news, I kind of knew. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah.